Your homework last night was page 31, 1 to 8, 14 to 15, and 22 to 25. I wanted to go over some of the more involved problems, um, 14, 15, 22 to 25. For number 14, you have 5 to the 5th power times 5 to the 6th power raised to the 2nd power. To begin this problem, we would work inside the parentheses, and I see we have the same bases and we're multiplying. So we could use the product rule where we keep the base and we add the exponent, 6 plus 5, which is 11. Then I bring down the parentheses and the 2, and now I see we have the power rule. The power rule says we can keep the base and multiply the exponents. So our final answer is 5 to the 22nd power. Number 15 was the same process. Beginning in the parentheses, p to the 4th and p to the 2nd, these bases are the same and we're multiplying. The product rule says we could keep the base and add the exponents. So inside the parentheses, we have p to the 6th power. Then I'm bringing down the rest of the problem. And now I see we have the power rule, where we keep the base and we multiply the exponents. So for that one, you should have had p to the 36th power. Next up was number 22, and there were a lot of steps in this problem. For this problem, you want to begin in the numerator and inside the parentheses. I see the bases are the same, and we're multiplying. So we can use the product rule. Keep the base, add the exponents. That gives us 8 to the 11th power, and the rest of the problem has raised to the second power. I'm just going to bring over the bottom. And now I see we have the power rule, where we keep the base and multiply the exponents. That gives us 8 to the 22nd power. And the same thing's going on in the denominator. We can keep the base and multiply the exponents. Now, now we have a division problem, so we still have one more step. This is division, so we can use the quotient rule. The quotient rule says when the bases are the same and we're dividing, we can keep the base and we can subtract the exponents. So our final answer is 8 to the second power. Okay, well for the next problem, number 23, let's start in the numerator. And I see in here we have the same bases and we're multiplying. So we can use the product rule. Keep the base, add the exponents. Now I'm just going to bring over the to the fourth power. And the next step, in the numerator, I see the power rule. So we can keep the base and multiply the exponents. 6 times 4 is 24. And it looks like the power rule can also be used in the denominator. Keep the base, multiply the exponents. Finally, we have a division problem right here, so we can use the quotient rule. The quotient rule says we can keep the base and subtract the exponent. So 24 minus 10. Final answer is 3 to the 14th power. Number 24 looks similar to the last one, except we have an invisible exponent here with the b. So I'm going to slide that in there. That's b to the first power and we'll begin in the numerator. The bases are the same and we're multiplying, so we can use the product rule. Keep the base, keep the base and add the exponents. So in the parentheses we have b to the fourth raised to the fifth power, and I'm just going to bring everything else over. And now I see the power rule. 
when the base is raised here, we're going to keep the base. And we're going to do 4 times 5, which is 20. And we could do that in the denominator. Keep the base, multiply the exponents, and we get 8. And the last step, we have division, which is the quotient rule. So we can keep the base and subtract these exponents. So our final answer is b to the 12th power. And for number 25, this looks, again, like a similar problem. We can start in the numerator. And inside the parentheses, I see we have the same bases and we're multiplying. That is the product rule. Keep the base and add the exponents. 6 plus 4 is 10. And then just rewrite everything. And then the next step is to use the power rule. Do the numerator first. So we're going to keep the h, multiply the exponents, and we can do that same rule in the denominator. Keep the h and multiply. And then we have one more step. Since this is division, we can use the quotient rule. The quotient rule says when the bases are the same and you're dividing, keep the base subtract the exponents. So h to the fifth is the final answer.